In part one, two, and three of our coat sewing series, we've learned how to draft the coat pattern, the two-piece sleeve, how to add our seam allowances to the various parts, and also how to cut our lining. In part four, we are learning how to put the pieces together and also how to sew our breast packet and also the belt packet with flap. We'll go ahead and do the stitching. We're going to join the sleeve pieces together. When it comes to the back pattern too, we are going to join the two pieces together. Then, we also stitch this dart in place. We'll go and stitch this and come back to continue. And so after we have stitched the center back, we open it up and then we give it a press. After stitching this very dart, we'll go ahead and slit it into two and then press. This very lapel has just been folded backwards just along the line we had drawn on the pattern. We're going to join the side panel to the front even though there's a cut here. We'll go ahead and stitch this and repeat same for the other side. We will seal this opening using an interface. We'll mark our packet's length. It starts from about half of an inch from this very dot, and then we're moving all the way to four and a half. This four and a half is because it's for a kid. If it's an adult, we would usually do six inches or five and a half, depending on the size of the suit. Because the packet opening is four and a half, I have also cut the packet itself, which measures about six and a half, about two inches more than the packet hole that we need. Then the length is as you so desire, because we'll just be turning it like this to get our packet length. I've as well stiffened one side with the interface and also we have stitched the fashion fabric itself onto the lining as you see. This one is measuring about 5 inches. Remember this is for a kid suit. If it were for an elderly person it means we would have done more depending on the packet opening that we have here and the length that we also want. With this 5 inches we would want to locate the middle. that we locate the center as well. Since the whole length is four and a half, we'll be doing two and quarter on this side, two and quarter on the other side. Then the space, we want three quarters of an inch. And so we are doing three eight on the top here, three eight down here. Then, I pin the edge and the tip here so that we match it to the space we have on the seat itself.
or this will be able to give it the shape that it needs. So we're going ahead to stitch this. After stitching this, we're going to slit and then meet the corners. Then we take this to the wrong side. Then we give it a press. We are going to fold half of this inward and then we crease it with half of this so that the hole is sealed. We'll flip this to the good side and we seal this part. Then we do the same for the other side. So I'm going to stitch here and there. For the packet flap, what we do is that we'll measure the length as we have here, cut it into this very shape as you see. We are going to slip it inward like this. And so we we'll use this as one side and then we we'll flip it over to get the other side. We're going ahead to stitch all around this, leaving a space at the top here. We have also placed another fabric beneath to help finish the packet edges. We're going ahead to stitch this. We flip the seam allowance towards the lining side and then we give it a press. You turn it to the good side, then you insert the paper into it, making sure that it assumes the shape exactly as you wanted it. Then you give it a hot press. This helps to maintain the shape as you had it with the paper. After this, you insert it into the velt packet. That is a double velt packet you had already done. Then we also press. We're making sure that we're getting two and quarter, two and quarter at this very part. Now, we'll flip this whole thing to the back like this and then stitch this in addition to the packet excess that we have here. We then move to our sewing machine. We are stitching in the dent that we have at this very part. Next, we turn this whole thing upside down and then we close it with the rest of the packet. Now we're going to stitch the packet itself. Then we move to our sewing machine and stitch from this side down here to this very part and then we close it at the top here. At 
after stretching this, we trim off the excess. Next, we're going to cut the center face. Just the same shape as we have for the breast pocket. The adhesive is at the top here. Then we fuse that onto a fabric like this. After giving it a good press, you fold it iron, then we met the corners so that we're able to fold or wrap the excess fabric inward so that it aligns right along the interfacing. And so we do that for all the sides, leaving the base unfolded. Then we reduce the length of the other one without the interface. Then we place the interface, that very line, onto the down part here. And then we we'll go ahead and stitch. And so after stitching, we are reducing the seam bulk. Then we'd mark about quarter of an inch space. And then we go inward by about one eighth of an inch. Then we place the packet itself onto it, making sure that we transfer the same mark to this very side. Then we'll go and then stitch along it. After stitching this, we cut through and then meet the corners. We get hold of this and then we also attach this other part of the packet to it where we're going to also stitch this together. This is it neatly stitched. We flip this and we stitch all the way throughout. So from here through this down part to this side. After stitching this, we'll go ahead and trim our seam. Then with this flap, we're going ahead to stitch the edge here and there. 